substitution for the number 19, Jimmy Watson. Season's ended with a wonderful defeat from Clyde. That doesn't tell the full story, does it? No, it, it doesn't really. It, it, it doesn't say that we deserve to get promotion. So that that's the most important thing. We had to work extremely hard over the two games against Clyde, um, but I think over the 180 minutes we've deserved it because uh, I thought some of the football we played this afternoon was, was excellent. We just couldn't get that final ball, that killer touch of some of the passing moves that we had, but. Um, that's the way we try and play and some days they go for you and, and others they don't but no, I'm just delighted for everybody that was connected with the club And what words did you, did you say to the group of players afterwards? Thank them, it's as simple as that, you thank them uh, and I also dedicated it to Bob Finlay because he's been here for 27 years uh, he's achieved these things but people at Bob epitomise this club you know, and what they give to it you know, um, go at the work goes unnoticed behind the scenes, uh, and this was his final game at Hamden connected with the club, and uh, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy in a, a fitting moment. You know that we can we can beat our closest rivals and get promotion. So you know, I'm delighted for everybody, but especially Bob. You've obviously seen success elsewhere in your managerial career. How does this feel compared to that? Oh, <laughs> when success comes along, you enjoy it because we know so often that in professional sport, or amateur sport, I should add, that um, there's some real disappointments along the way. And that's what you're always wary of, you know, especially in a game like today, that you just might get that kick in the teeth in the final minute. But uh, we'd Willie Muir to thank for a, a wonderful save. But we, it's up there. Um, I think my greatest achievement was keeping St Myrna in the SPL. Um, but to actually you know, get promotion with Queen's Park's not a... You know, not far behind it. Obviously, the, most of the squad speak about feeling very low at Stennis Muir 12 months ago. Uh, how high were they afterwards today? Oh, the high scouts, you know, and I think they, they deserve it, you know, to, to give up what they give up, time, effort, you know, to put in, and they get the rewards for that. You know, it was a difficult period, so midway through the season, um, a poor start, you know, we lost half our games out of the first dozen. Um, but to show the level of consistency that they have, you know, in, in the, the second half of the season, um, without winning, you know, as many games as we would have liked, but certainly playing the football that we want to encourage here, and uh, they get, you know, that final little bit down at Annan, you know, when you've got to make sure you don't lose by two goals. I think that stood us in great stead over the, you know, the playoff games that we became mentally very, very strong. Um, individuals like Ryan McGeever, Brian Wharton, you know, Vinnie Berry, you know, that, that stepped up to the plate, you know, with some major players missing for us from us and uh, Jamie McKern and Chris Dugan, Anthony Ralston, you know, that have all played a significant part, you know, in getting us this far as a team this season. One of the players who's been missing all season is Tony Quinn. Yep. He's had a cracking couple of days. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, he's been there. Uh, Blessed with a, a baby, uh, him and Alana, you know, had a, a baby daughter, Hope, uh, yesterday, so we're delighted for them. Um, another Queen's Parker in the family, but uh, no, Quinny's experienced it all, um, but he, again, he's played a major part um, behind the scenes as well since he's been injured. Um, we obviously lost Chris Hillcoat, you know, two or three months ago. Um, can't forget how big a part that Chris has made. But then Tony and James Evans, you know, have stepped up to the plate, you know, and, and really been a strong help, you know, behind the scenes to myself, you know, and, and, and the rest of the staff, you know. And, uh, we're very, very grateful for the team behind the scenes. So, you're allowed a couple of days off? 
Uh, we'll be back in, you know, I think we've got to take in games now, um, tomorrow and Monday, so that's it. It, it doesn't stop, I uh, go away on Thursday for a, a break for a few days, but um, no, between now and then we'll be back out at games watching players. And you and McPherson still to make his debut? Still to make his debut, um, he certainly wasn't going to get the opportunity <laughs> there in case he cost us, but, no, but his time will come, I think he's uh, he's still developing, but his time will come. Please pass on us, thanks to all the players, guys, well done. Well done, Craig, thank you.